Hi there, my name's Mark Ling and I'm the co-founder of Traffic Travis. Now Traffic Travis is software that will help you get higher rankings in, in the search engines and it'll also help you drive more traffic to your websites through pay-per-click and it also helps you a lot in keyword research as well. And in this short video I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough demonstration of me using some of the best features of the Traffic Travis software so you can make an informed decision as to whether or not uh, you want to use it to drive more traffic to your websites. I'm just loading up Traffic Travis now and what we've got here is it starts off with a dashboard where you can see an overview of your website's performance and you can have as many sites as you want inside this dashboard here um, so if you're looking at your various clients you might have or your own website it can give you a really good quick overview um, all right this is one of my affi uh, affiliate sites dog obedience advice and I can see just at a quick glance what my top five keywords are in Google, um, so some of my top backlinks, um, and so forth. And you can even use it to spy on your competitors as well. Okay, I can add more keywords to track just by clicking add more. I'm just tracking 44 different dog training keywords um, at this moment. So anyway, this is a quick glance and that's what the dashboard's for. And then let's have a look at the My Site tab. Now, at the moment, I've got 64 pages that I'm monitoring on my website. I can easily import pages by clicking import pages and then just put a either an HTML page from my website or a sitemap or I can just individually paste the pages here and so it's really easy to import the pages and then for any one of my pages like for instance this American Bulldog training page here I can add a keyword that I want to rank for to that page. So all you do is you click add keywords, right? And then it'll give you a list of all the keywords you're trying to rank for and then you can just select one or two of those. And I've already pre-selected American Bulldog training right there. Okay, so then what it does is it gives you, um, it, well it tells you at a glance what all the backlinks are so if I double click I've got 104 backlinks to that page that I've built up if I double click that it'll show me where those backlinks are coming from several of them are coming from one website as you can see um, and in this particular case and if I was to click on one of those or double click on it it's gonna take me to the actual website where that link is and it is this one in particular happens to be on this bulldog training website and they seem to have put in the link right there and um, that's the link that links off to my affiliate site for dog training and there's my American Bulldog training page okay so the good thing about that is you could use this particular tool to find out the backlinks that are coming direct to the pages of your competitors as well, um, not just yourself. And then you may want to wish to contact these people to try and get links to your website or to even um, get them to post maybe a, an article from you or a allow you to guest blog on their websites. And it, it can be very helpful for building links. The second thing is by looking at American Bulldog training as the keyword we're focusing on, across here it's, it says SEO 4. 4 is the number of things that Traffic Travis is saying that um, could be altered in my website to make it better on page optimized. So if I click on that um, we can see now that it says um, okay, my keyword density, it's saying it's a bit low, being below 2%. I actually personally think even even um, slightly under 2% is not a big problem, but it's, it's given me a warning there. It says that my H1 tags contains my keywords more than two times, and that's because I've used too many H1 tags on my page altogether. I should have probably just used one and then used H2 tags for my subheadlines. So, um, so there's that, because if you do too many h1 tags on your page or you use your keywords too many times then you're not really able to give a clear picture to the search engines of what your page is about um, and then there's just a few minor warnings about not um, 
not using um, the keyword tag properly in my meta description and so forth, but they're, they're kind of minor, but at least it tells me, yes, I've got it in my title, um, in my URL, and in my H1 tags and so forth. Um, so at least I've done those things on page and it's given me just a few quick warnings for other things. And I, you want to get try and see if you can get this number close to zero as possible. Um, and then you've got a few page warnings as well. If you double click on that, there's seven warnings there. Okay, it says, it's great, my content's got more than 100 words, my H1 tag is under eight words, which is good, um, but it's got too many H1 tags in the page, my page title and H1 tags are exactly the same. Um, it's um, saying that they're, they're not the same, sorry, so it's got a cross, uh, it's got the image, it's missing an alt, it's missing an alt tag, uh, all the images have identical alt tags, which isn't good. Um, so it's got a few warnings, but then it's got a lot of good things as well. Um, the URL is the correct length, um, page contains less than 100 links, and, and so forth. So you want to get that number. Um, it doesn't have to be zero, but you want it to be lower than seven anyway, maybe as low as three or something like that. So the, the less of these little things, uh, the lower these numbers are, the better your on-page optimization is for your keyword phrases. And you can run filters and so forth if you've got larger, like a lot more pages on your website to filter and find pages that contain a certain number of backlinks if, if you're analyzing your competitors or certain um, page rank and so forth. Um, anyway, there's there's several things you can do, and you can run site reports, um, and you can get really good overviews of things, number of page page ranks, backlinks, page warnings, so forth and so forth. And there's a lot of stuff that you can do. Um, now, when it comes to keyword research, probably the best free tool available is the Google Keyword Tool. And if you were to type a phrase like "lose belly fat," for instance, into Google, it'll give you into the Google Keyword Tool. It'll give you a bunch of keywords and it'll give you the global monthly searches and the local monthly searches and um, a rough estimation of your com competition in Google AdWords. Um, but the problem with the Google keyword tool is it doesn't show you how difficult it is to actually rank highly on each keyword in the natural search engines and that's where one of the ways that Traffic Travis is really, really helpful. It shows you a bit more data. You get to see, um, so you still get those Google Google numbers, but you also get to see the number of Google search results that there are, the average pay-per-click, the amount that it's going to cost to um, to get a top ranking um, from in pay-per-click. You get to see the number of competitive competing sites that have the correct all in title or or in anchor text. You've got um, more importantly though, you've got a rating here, and I might even just zoom in on this little screenshot I've made right here so you can actually see it a bit better you've got a rating here on SEO difficulty as to whether it's extremely difficult medium difficult very difficult relatively easy and so forth and then you can double click on any one of those difficulty ratings for a further breakdown if you want to see why is it difficult like this phrase lose weight fast why is it difficult well it's showing me the top 10 sites Traffic Travis shows you the top 10 sites in Google and it tells you how what the page rank of each of those sites are, how old they are, the number of backlinks to the site to the pages, backlinks to the sites, have they got links from um, from trusted domains like dot, dot government domains or, ed, or dot edu domains, is, is it listed in the human editor directories, DMOS, Yahoo, uh, have they got the correct on-page optimization going on, title tags, description, H1 tags, and so forth. And you get a good overall picture of how hard it is to rank for the phrase lose weight fast. Okay, if you do want to see why Traffic Travis gave it its rating, you can easily do that. And like you can, alternatively, you find phrases that are a bit easier to rank for, like loose belly fat. Um, I'll just go back quickly to that tool here, um, to the keyword tool. You can see with loose belly fat, still a lot of people searching for it a month. Um, all right, um, global monthly search volume is it's pretty high, um, and yet you can find here 
that, oh, okay, it's reasonably uncompetitive. The on-page optimization, not many sites are actually um, optimizing for loose belly fat. And it's probably because it's a misspell. People are probably trying to type loose belly fat, but they've spelt it incorrectly. And so there's not much on-page going on. And the sites that are ranking, well, it's, um, it's easier. It's not, I mean, I'm not saying that um, on-page optimization is everything, but when no sites have very good on-page optimization going on, then it is pretty easy. Even even when the sites that are there have a lot of backlinks, it's pretty easy to get yourself into the top three or four positions in Google for that phrase, and so it's ranked it as relatively easy. Traffic Travis version 4 also comes with a brand new domain research tool, which will give you both ideas for domain names and also uh, some people like to use it to find domain names where it uses all of the keywords, um, so an exact keyword match domain. So I'll just click Fetch right here. In fact, I'll click into the box there. And I'll just use all of my keywords from my project. I, um, you can enter custom keywords, but I think those will be fine uh, for the purposes of this example. And I'll click Fetch. And it's going ahead and it's given me um, quite quickly a list of um, great domain name ideas as you can see and whether or not they're available in the search engine black dog tools black canine dog food dave <laughs> um, big dog dealer dot com so you've got some some pretty cool domain name ideas and you can run filters as well on those domains just simply uh, type in for instance if I wanted a domain name that had the word I don't know, let's say I wanted training in the domain name. Um, then I'd just write training, and it's found Hounds Training as one of the uh, suggested domain names, for instance. Um, obviously, you want to ent enter in more keywords if you want to get more results um, as well uh, when you're running your filters, of course. like Domain names like dogtraining.com is probably taken, and hence there's less suggestions for this particular phrase. If I type dog, obviously there's a lot of options have come up here for um, like moreaboutdogs.com, things like that. Um, can be very, very helpful for coming up with a domain name for your website. Now, moving on to the SEO tab, this is uh, really, really helpful for your search engine optimization. You can, uh, you can monitor the rankings of your all the phrases that uh, you wish to rank on in the search engine. So like for instance you can see here that I'm ranking number one in Bing, number one in Google on uh, the phrase dog obedience advice. So I could have added Yahoo to this project as well just for the purposes of this example I just threw in um, MSN Bing and Google for my tracking here. And uh, you can see what all your previous positions were from previous updates. Um, I've only just loaded this project um, a few days ago, so there's um, not much change, obviously, in the last few days. Um, but it'll also link to the best page on your website for that particular... Uh, I can move that across, but for that particular phrase as well. Um, it's very, very helpful. And then you can run a rankings report and you can see um, you can see the movement of different listings that you've got in the search engines. I'll just highlight a bunch of them and click OK. And you can see obviously with this only being run for a few days there's not too much movement but you can see a graph of the movement of each of those particular phrases and perhaps you may wish to even just monitor your top 20 or so phrases and just see their performance. When you run this tool over a matter of months you can see movements that might go from say page 10 in Google all the way up towards page 1. You should be seeing your graph go up and up and up over time, particularly if you're starting out with a new site. Okay, And uh, there's more that you can do uh, as well, you can um, there's a report button that's just off the screen. I'll just move that up, and you can see as well, and you can give this to your clients and so forth if you happen to have any. What um, you could give this to them once a month. What the phrases are that they're trying to rank for. What your current ranking is. What your best ranking has been over time, and um, has it moved up or down in that time? It can be very very helpful. All right, and then you can run filters on this stuff as well. Um, for um, key, uh, 
certain keyword text, page text, um, what ones have certain certain levels of rankings, and so forth.